Good morning. This is Megan Renahan with the Batesville School District. It is time for the Pioneer Update. The Pioneer Update is brought to you by Citizens Bank. They are people first, and that's wonderful because here at the Batesville School District, we are students first. This morning, I have the Area Director of OPA Food Management, Miss Glenda Haley. Welcome and good morning. Good morning. It's great to be here. Yes. So tell us a little bit about the Junior Chef Program that we piloted over at West Elementary. Third graders over at West Elementary got to teach a little bit about some grains, some fruits, and then do some great hands-on cooking with the students. I truly think that they did, and you just wait till I get those pictures posted with them in their sweet little hats and aprons and gloves. These kids had a blast, so, so enriching. We love that program, and we cannot wait to see that district-wide at our other elementaries. Well, Megan, now can we roll on to another subject? <laughs> we can. do do So what's going on? this Easter. <laughs> you remember the roll project that we did during the holidays to kind of bring awareness to the unpaid lunch debt? Well, it's risen again. We're doing it again. Beth McSpadden and her team, it's a great way for our food service staff to really be able to give back to the community to help pay for a few of those meals that we serve every day. So we'll be having it out there on Facebook. We'll get it out on social media, but we're doing the rolls by the dozen again for Easter. I love that because you can do frozen or fresh. The last thing, we have something really exciting that's going to start the day we get back from spring break on March 25th. This is a pilot program, a USDA pilot program. I've gotten the support of our superintendent and our board to run with. It's going to allow us to serve breakfast to all of our children, kindergarten through 12, at no charge. Wow. So uh, we all know the correlation between success in the classroom, whether it be testing, social, or just having a good start to your morning of being able to have free breakfast, and not necessarily free breakfast, but having breakfast. Right. And so with this pilot program that we're going to be running, we'll be able to offer breakfast to all students at no charge. And with that, you'll be able to get quite a bit of, of data that way you can utilize it to see if that's something maybe we can do on a larger scale. Absolutely. This gives us, a, you know, a few service days in there at the end of the year and be able to, uh, so that I can put some data together to be able to supply back to our administration and to our board as to how that would impact us right. uh, moving forward if the program were to be available. Right. Absolutely. Well, hey, Glenda, thank you so much for coming in. We appreciate everything you and your department do to make sure that we've got full bellies, and that gives us a happy heart for sure. All right. Thank you very much. Okay. And as we like to say, it's a great day to be a pioneer.